Every victory is important in this conference, as you can see. It's uh, really no clear uh, cut uh, front runner at this point. Uh, so getting a chance to just stay in the mix and be, be in the hunt uh, is important. Protecting home court, trying to steal a few on the road, you're going to put yourself in a good shape. So it's very important. I hope we play true to form on the road because at the home we were 0-4 in the conference at home, so that hurts. But uh, yeah, we had to, we started off with what one and seven, then we went six and one, and now we're 0 and two. So I'd like to turn that streak to the positive. Coming up, Sacred Heart seeks its seventh win in its last ten games when it takes on a Mount St. Mary's squad looking to earn back-to-back -back victories. This Northeast Conference matchup tips off X Conference wins this year. Good look inside to Stan Dallaire. And a really good patience offensively, and you saw the vision of Shane Gibson that time. Mount St. Mary's has really had to reload Lamar Trice. That's nice. <laughs> Jarrell Thompson gives it off to Gibson, who's hot in the early going. He is one of the smoothest players that have come along in this Northeast Conference in a long time. Backdoor cutting. A two bump. What a move. How about that, Sean? A two of them off the bounce. Zone defense now. It'll change the D's right now. Northfleet, best three-point shooter. And proving it. Oh! Not in my store, you know. Sean Atupa. He is owning the paint here in the early going and sending a message to Sean, Sean Atupa. Big time timing coming out of nowhere. Dallaire had no idea he was in the vicinity. Gibson off to Thompson. He hits the three. Third three of this first half by Sacred Heart this season. See the early shooting. Mount Cole from downtown, but hot inside. Danny Thompson with the slam. Yeah, Lamar Trice was able to penetrate the middle of the zone and he dropped it down under to Danny Thompson. Close with the rebound. Good, everybody's looking inside now. A tupa. So when you go for the drop or you go for the charge and you don't get it, then the offensive player gets an enormous advantage. You can tell what Robert Burke was talking about. Five inches inside. See if they can get it in there against the zone. Castellanos is a zone breaker. Well, you see what the zone did that time though? It packed in because the previous two possessions Mount scored in the paint. Their largest lead, Kelly. Akin Patetti, strip. Put back goes for Stan Dulaire. That's an important basket right now. Momentum was so strong with Mount St. Mary. Sacred Heart needed something. He did that with effort. Good look inside, Jackson. And who made the pass? Catalanos, Castellanos, excuse me. They have really guarded Mount St. Mary. So there's the feed to Atupam. Atupam into double figures. Yeah, he set the tone on both sides of the floor to start this game, did Sean Atupam. line in the first half, the inability to make easy shots around the rim. That's an open three, and that's good for Julian Norfleet. Over 19, that's why he's got to get going. 25 for Sacred Heart. Akin Patetti. A good strong baseline move. Not that. And the lay-in. David Galloway, the redshirt freshman. Timeout, Sacred Heart. Terrell Thompson. There it is. Finally a guard basket by Sacred Heart. For this year is that he get a little out of control. There's Shane Gibson. That's what, the, that's what the Sacred Heart pioneers have been missing. To challenging for first. Danny Hurley, uh, unbelievable, just great job. And speaking of great jobs, Mountain answers uh, the three of Gibson uh, with a three by their best three-point shooter, Julian Norfleet. More of a defensive-oriented team this year with steals and transition. Shot a two and one. Kaju for three. Hear this crowd just encouraging Gene Kaju. Yeah. All right, back to you guys. All right, Paul, seven and a half minutes left. Trice fills it up. Yeah. 
Evans was the open man. A two point. Two and one. Left hand. Stolen by Tony. Well, look at the early help that Mount gets. Not just help, they're there early. Gibson, wide open for three. Boy, they have been few and far between that type of comfort catches. If, in fact, they don't end up being a top four seed. Oh, man. Lamar Trice, quick as a hiccup, as yeah, my partner yeah, would say. Yeah, yeah. Now that is, you got to let it fly. Just letting the air out of it. Mount St. Mary's. Showing some class here at the end, not taking a shot. <laughs> as opposed to me? Is that what you're going? 61-45. The Mount, big tonight. Dominating effort. We'll be back to talk about it. You're watching Northeast Conference Basketball. Mount St. Mary's wins their sixth game of the year, their fourth in NEC play to go over 500 in the conference. And Paul Dottino is standing by with our Ruby Tuesday player of the game. Well, thanks so much, Dave. Coach Burke, we'll talk to you in just a second, but your star of the game here is Sean Atupam. Now, Sean, 20 points and six rebounds tonight. You probably don't know this, but it's only the second time you've scored 20 points in a game, and both were on television. What is this about the cameras with you? Um, I think it's a coincidence that it happened to be both TV games, but I really don't, I'm really not focused on how many points I score. I just want to get the W and get the win for the team. It did seem to me today, and we've seen you a number of times over your career, you had everything clicking on all cylinders in terms of your personal game tonight. What made it so right? Well, um, the coaches just give me, give, put confidence in me, and they just, they just let me go out there and make plays. And I was just playing, and it just all fall, fell my way tonight, and we got the W for the team. That's what matters. Okay, Sean Atupin, continued success. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll go over here to the coach and Coach Burke. Uh, he was our Ruby Tuesday star of the game, and if he keeps uh, running races like that, you're going to ride that pony all the way down the stretch. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you know, he was really good tonight, and we had to find different ways to get it. A little bit in the second half, we got away from getting him touches, but then uh, we found a way to get it back to him at the end. But uh, that's what seniors are supposed to do, um, and he's, you know, he was a little banged up early in the year, and I think he's coming around, and that was great to see. Now, down the stretch, you at one point had the largest lead you've had in any game at all this season. I'm sure that, that kind of uh, relieved the sweat from your brow over on the bench. Uh, I don't know, because we haven't been in that position a lot. So, uh, you know, uh, you, we got to learn how to close those game out, and we did a reason good job uh, tonight of doing that. Okay, you talked about for a second some things you'd like to improve, but what went so right tonight that you've been trying to preach to your guys that they finally got it? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, we, I think we really moved our feet on defense, and we really helped each other uh, defensively, um, and and that was really. Uh, significant. We worked hard on that this week, and we could see that and that improvement. And we did it closer to 40 minutes, probably for 30 minutes. Uh, we've done it for like 10 minute stretches, but we did it for longer stretches. As you said, we did it for most of the first half. Uh, we did a real nice job there. And then offensively, um, I thought we really stuck together and just shared the game. You know, shared the game with each other, moved the ball, and took what the defense gives you. They do a great job of changing things up and trying to confuse you defensively, switching. And uh, I thought we were we were patient and, and stuck with it. Coach Brooke, thanks for your time. Best thanks, of luck. Appreciate. It. Okay, we'll see, we'll see you, you soon. soon. Thanks. You got it. Fellas, back to you. All right, Paul, nice touch by Robert Burke and the coaching staff from Mount St. Mary's. Wearing the bow ties tonight to honor Jim Fallon as he was inducted into the NEC Hall of Fame. The Mount wins 61-45.